Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Larson. So do you think the foods that you choose can influence whether or not you're gonna get the flu? So this is kind of the beginning of flu season right now, so this is a kind of a timely topic. And the question is, can the food that we choose influence if we're gonna get the flu or not? And so there's an interesting study that, um, that just recently came out. Um, it's out of Yale University and it was published uh, in a journal called Science Immunology. And they looked at this very fact. They looked to see um, if the foods that we choose can influence your immune system, and if so, how does it affect your immune system? And then what's the end result? Can it really decrease the chance that you're gonna get sick from the flu? So basically, here's what they did. Is, uh, this is an animal study. They evaluated um, two different diets. And so they had two different sets of uh, animal subjects, and they evaluated uh, two different diets. One was basically, one was basically a high carb, just normal diet, and the other one was a uh, low carb diet. And uh, and then they kind of had the animals consume the diet for a little while first, and then they infected them with influenza A virus. Influenza A virus is your typical um, sort of seasonal flu virus. Um, it's not just the normal kind of cold. It's actually one of the more, you know, kind of serious person is going to feel pretty lousy when they get influenza A virus. So, uh, so they injected with the virus and then they tracked them and they tracked their morbidity, their morbidity and their mortality. Basically, how sick did they get and did they die? And here's the quick conclusion. They had a, the ones, the animals that were fed the low carb diet had a significant uh, decrease in morbidity and mortality compared to the animals that were fed the high carb, just, um, you know, default normal diet. And so um, that always begs the question, like, what happened? What was it about the diet that influenced, influenced their immune system to decrease the effects of the same infection? The two different groups of subjects had the exact same uh, virus, um, um, their influence are injected by the same virus. Why did one develop symptoms and even die and the other group not? And so they actually answered that question within the study as well. What they did is they uh, evaluated through some pretty sophisticated um, immunology, they evaluated basically um, what parts of the immune system were activated. And there's this part of the immune system called gamma delta T cells. And these gamma delta T cells were upregulated in the uh, low carb um, uh, diet. Um, so the animals that were consuming the low carb diet, they had a significant um, upregulation of this gamma delta T cells. And these gamma delta T cells provide some really interesting antiviral protection in the upper respiratory system. Think of like the lungs and things like that, the upper part of the lungs, bronchioles. So when these gamma delta uh, T cells are upregulated, we have a really significant um, increase in uh, our antiviral responses. So these animals that were injected with this, um, with this virus didn't suffer the same consequence that they did um, consuming the, uh, the higher carb diet. So then they actually did something uh, one step further is they had a, um, a group of animals that um, were genetically bred to uh, be missing the gene that codes for this particular part of the immune system. So the gene was removed that codes for this gamma delta T cell. And so then they fed them also the low carb diet and then injected them with the uh, influenza A virus and it did not give them the same protection um, as the animals that still had the gene and followed the low carb diet. So they just wanted to do that to really confirm that it was actually this gamma delta T cell that specifically being upregulated had this very, very um, antiviral response. So to answer the question that I posed at the beginning, yes, the foods that you choose definitely have a significant influence on the way that your immune system reacts to these viruses. And remember this time of year, um, during kind of holiday season, we are exposed to these viruses all the time. And this is just one of many 
So we want to try to adopt as much um, antiviral and immune supportive uh, practices as possible. So in addition to like washing your hands and you know trying to stay away from people that you know already are sick. And um, we know that you know making proper food choices and this is a specific kind of concept on what kind of foods to choose. These low carb foods that um, uh, really allow the immune system to kind of do their thing. And I'd say on the flip side, having the high carb uh, meals, high carb food choices are immunosuppressive because the net effect is they don't allow this really important um, immune factor from upregulating and doing its job. So um, food for thought, uh, this time of year, you gotta do the best you can to protect yourself. So I hope you uh, have learned something from this and you can maybe uh, start to implement it. The sooner you implement these kind of food choices, the better and to decrease the chance that you'll get the flu. So um, I will keep reading the studies and bringing you the information. Until then, keep it real.